is the 2014 audit approval. Mr. Welch. Mr. Chairman, the uh, draft has been given to the board, given out last week, um, <clears throat> and the finance department has completed the, uh, the review of the, uh, the report that's made up by them. I got the wrong piece of paper in my hand. Mm -hmm. um, which you've all received. Um, it's not exactly what I would call a lengthy report, but it meets the requirements on pages three and four of the, uh, of the audit. Um, we're asking the board to approve the audit moving forward. Um, if the board does not approve that, then the audit cannot be printed and cannot be publicly released. Um, the, audit, the auditor will be here next week. Uh, he would like to come in with the audit report printed and, and, and be able to distribute to everybody uh, that's essential to have it distributed to. And that basically is the reason it's on the agenda. It's for your approval to proceed. Questions, Mr. Bridal. First of all, I have a question. Is this, uh, now this is a draft report, correct? That's correct. And this is the final draft. Who is the draft given to? The draft was given to the members of the Board of Selectmen, to myself, and to the Finance Director. I just found it a little disturbing that one of our Budget Committee members was in here uh, complaining that the uh, audit report was wrong in, in some field because uh, the numbers were in it was wrong, and I didn't know how he would have an opportunity to see this when it was a draft warrant article only uh, at, at this point was given out. So I'm a little... Uh, um, bothered by that but uh, other than that I have no problem in uh, supporting the, uh, the fiscal report as it's presented. Mrs. Wolseley. Yeah I, I would prefer not to vote on this this evening. Uh, Scott Egan will be in apparently next week. I have questions for him and I have not I don't feel I'm comfortable enough because um, I just received the I guess the final draft tonight with the management pages included. Uh, this has been a long time coming and I would feel more comfortable if I can have a little time to look over and get a list of questions from Mr. Egan and then uh, see we, if we approve it next week there certainly should be time to insert it in the town report. Mr. Bean. Thank you Mr. Chairman. I uh, conducted a detailed review on my own during my last budget committee meeting. I find the audit to be uh, of exceptionally high caliber. Uh, incorporation of uh, GASPI requirements, which had previously been neglected right. by this town through its leadership yeah. of boards, has finally been executed. It's been done very, very nicely by our new finance director. Kudos <laughs> to Director Pulliam. This evening, as we deliberated the high callings of government, I read the management's report, which Ms. Woolsey hasn't had a chance to do yet. That is on page three and four. It's two pages. Right. It's about eight paragraphs. I would make the motion that we approve the draft dated 12-14-15, Town of Hampton, New Hampshire, annual financial report as of and for the fiscal year ended 31 December 2014 further discussion back to you mr. I've read the report uh, the audit came out last week I had questions I went in and I asked the uh, finance director to answer my questions she's answered most of my questions I feel f uh, confident uh, in the audit I would uh, second mr. beans uh, motion and I, I would ask a question that I'm a little vague on and it might have something to do with what uh, mr. bridal said Number one, that we received an email last week from a member of the board, was CC'd to everybody, mm -hmm. that that member had spoken with the people at the audit firm mm -hmm. about an issue. And to me, it seems like if we have a question, we go to the finance director and we ask the finance director to answer the question. It seems to me that you get a very muddled and confused situation when members of the board are going around the employees who are in charge of doing the work and discussing it with people rather than getting the question from the finance director if doesn't like the question from the finance director going to the 
town manager, asking the question of the town manager, just or asking the board, do you mind if I go around them and, and, and discuss it with other, you know, discuss it with the firm themselves? It just to me, any board I've ever been on, it gets very confusing when there's too many chiefs operating on things. Just I, my opinion. I want to respond to that, Seth, Rick. Okay, we'll come back to you Let's in a minute. Let's get the tree over. Uh, <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Did you? No, I'm all set with the. Mrs. Wolsey. I sent a generic report mainly protesting that I had not access to that management report. I had asked Christie a number of times and kept being told that it was almost ready, almost ready, almost ready. The audit report was almost ready. Yes, and then I get the draft audit on the fourth or second or whatever it was, and no management report in. Back and ask her before going to the audit people? No, I, d I just. I Easy. called Scott and just asked him the question. Easy solution to me. And he was very nice. Well, this has been draggling and draggling and draggling. And he explained it and explained it and explained it. Well, Christy explained it and explained I'm just, it and explained it. You know, we're getting to the end of the year. We've got two weeks to the so end. So we of have the year. a first and a second. And all those in favor and opposed? Opposed. Four to one.